Hey, Pisces and Pisces. Pisces, if you're dealing with the Pisces, this is going to be your love reading. So let's hop into it and see how your Pisces is feeling about the connection. All right. We got this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Right? So your Pisces is feeling like you the one. Like out of everybody I done dealt with is you. Right? I, I've tried to try other people and it didn't work out. It's you that I'm solely connected to. It's you that my heart desire. It's you that my heart wants. So I've already met my romantic partner. This could be the one and the one is you. So Pisces, your Pisces is feeling like you the one. You the one they want to be with. You the one they want to share their life with. And that's just the energy. So let's hop into it and see how this Pisces is feeling about you. Okay, we have the star. We have the two of swords. A two of swords came in the reverse, which I'm, I feel like this person was unable to decide. But I'm going to leave it in the upright. Right? We have the six of wands. We have the four of pentacles. One more for Pisces and Pisces. And we have the knight of pentacles. Okay, Pisces. Dealing with Pisces. So I see like whatever was going on in this relationship, it's been dragging for a long, 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 long time. Right? This person may have been a little bit selfish, holding you to themselves or or just not really opening up to you the way you would want them to, to be able to have success, you know, and, and, and to be able to be recognized by this person as somebody that could, excuse me, that they could pour into. And that two of swords that came in the reverse, I'm going to read it upright. I was feeling like this person is like unable to decide what, you know, what steps they want to take moving forward with you. But I think somewhere in the back of their mind, they always knew that you were the one. They always knew that there was something there, some other unseen force that attaches them to you. And I just think they wasn't ready to face the reality of that because they wasn't done playing around in these streets. So what they did was they tried to hold you as close to them as they possibly could for as long as they possibly could before they actually had to uh, step up and, and do something that was going to push this relationship forward, right? To align with it truly and fully without the BS, right? So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see, why, is it, why did it take this person so long to figure out that you was the one, right? With this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, because they, they had a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burdens, a lot of baggage that came with them that they probably just didn't want to dump in your yard once they got with you. So I feel like this person has, you know, had a, a lot of things to deal with before they can actually open up and commit. Maybe it's, it's self-work they had to deal with. Why did it take this person so long to figure out that Pisces was the one? Because they were confused. They had many, many options. They had many people to choose from, right? And maybe the burden was just trying to choose, right? But that's that's the energy, Pisces. This person held you close and took a long time to make you some form of offer because they had options and they were under a lot of pressure from many different people probably. You understand what I'm saying? When you're dealing with a lot of people and you got a lot of options, it, it be get too hard to keep up with. And sometimes you just got to release and let some people go. And I think that's what this person has done over the years, slowly but surely releasing everybody till it just breaks down to you, which is totally unfair and totally like it's weird but that's the energy man yeah so this person took so long to figure out you was the one because they had options that they've been carrying around with them for all this time let's see what is this four of pentacles why was this person trying to hold you so dear and close to them why did this person want to hold you there right because they know that they it's like <clears throat> maybe you were too much for this person with this queen of pentacles, right? I'm seeing, because this person is showing up as a six of wands. And I'm seeing that you may have been a little bit too much, too headstrong, too solid, too independent, you know, a, a, too committal, right? You were somebody they knew that they couldn't just tell any story or play any games, 
right? If they came at you, they had to be 100% real, right? And they, they probably wasn't ready for commitment at that time. So what they did was hold you close, gaslight you, breadcrumb you, whatever they had to do to keep you in their energy until they felt like having success with you. Right. So Pisces, I feel like you may have been a little bit too much for your for your Pisces because your Pisces wasn't ready for commitment at one point or another. So they held you close because they knew you were someone solid. They knew that you uh, were independent. They knew that you, uh, you know, could pretty much take care of yourself. Why they gaslighted you? I don't know. So let's see. What else is this for of Pentacles here? And we have the Queen of Wands. And I'm also I'm starting to feel like you wasn't the only one they held close to you, right? To them, right? I feel like this person got two women in their life or men, it doesn't matter, uh, that they that they really trying to weigh their options with, right? Queen of Wands. This this actually could be a daughter as well. This actually this Queen of Wands could actually be a daughter as well. And the Queen of Wands is, is an observer, maybe a child that's that you know that's always in their business, always paying attention to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it's it's like I couldn't decide who I was going to bring around my child, or decide when I was ready to introduce my child to a different woman or man. Somewhere, something along the lines of that. So not that it's not only that this person had a lot of options out here in these streets. They also had a responsibility, which is a child, somebody else that they held close to them, somebody else that they hold close to their heart. Right. And they could play in these streets all they want to. But when it when it gets home, this person was rather private. They didn't share their, you know, intimate secrets with the world and not even you. Right. So it's like this person always had this big responsibility because the queen of Pentacles is one who takes care of her family, one who, you know, basically looking out for her family. The queen of wands is an observer, is, is a person that puts in the work, somebody that's confident, somebody that's proud, somebody that's just, you know, about that life. And I think that's this person's child that's always been there, that's always paying attention, that's always watching and I feel like this person didn't want to confuse their child with bringing a lot of men or women around, right? So this person was really just basically respecting their child, even though they had a lot of women or men in these streets, they never brought it home. So with them wanting to keep you in that loop, right? They wanted to keep you in that loop. That's why they held on to you and, and and it's taken as long as it did because this person really was trying to, the plan with the Knight of Pentacles was trying to see, are you strong enough to accept their bullshit, <laughs> to accept what goes on behind the scenes in their world, right? And I guess right here with the six of, of wands, this person recognized that, you know, I already found the one that that fits into my life, right? And and now I want this person to recognize me, right? I want to have success with this person. Hey, Pisces and Pisces, y'all got something going on. Let's see, what is this Six of Wands? The Six of Wands is the food, right? So it's like now that we didn't did all these things and time has passed by, now I'm ready to move forward with you. Hmm. So this Pisces is ready to move forward with you now. If you're not in connection with this person, you can expect this person um, coming towards you to, to try to make something official, to try to have some form of success with you, to have a new start with you, right? With the Nine of Cups, to be fulfilled. Because you've always been there fulfillment. You have always been this person fulfillment and they've always known it. I just feel like this person wasn't ready for commitment. They wasn't ready to bring people into their little private world or their home situation. And they held on to you as long as they could until something happened. Maybe you put your foot down. Maybe you uh, tried to break it off. Whatever that situation was, it kind of like put this person in the energy of ready to move forward, ready to be fulfilled, ready to have success. 
opposed to losing you or you cutting them off altogether because you've been dealing with this so long and ain't got nothing out of it. So now that you ready to <clears throat> end it, they're ready to begin it. And that's pretty much how it always works out. You know, when you're dealing with somebody, y'all just fooling around and this is just somebody. I feel like this Pisces of yours is a soulmate. Just because of the Knight of Pentacles, it lets me know how long y'all been dealing with each other without any form of commitment. And now it's the time to make a decision. But I feel like this person made that decision a long time ago because that two of swords did come out in reverse. And I felt like this person always knew deep in their heart that you were their person. You were the person that they would want to, you know, get deeper, deeply involved in sooner or later. Right. Because with this star, they've been pouring into you for a long time. I feel like this person has been investing in you for a long time. If they haven't been investing into you, they've been pouring into you emotionally for a while, right? So, you know, and they just want to have a new beginning with you because you're their happiness. You're their satisfaction. I don't care how the wind howls, what they say, what they do. You are their satisfaction. This person loves you. They adore you and you make them happy. Right. So let's see. What is this two of swords? Why is this two of swords here? Why did it take this person so long to realize that Pisces was the one? Right. And we have the six of pentacles. Like I said, I feel like I knew you always. I think they knew you always were the one. I think now it's just they're ready to pour into it. They're ready to bring it into balance. They're ready to you know, reap some form of reward from, from, from the, from all that pouring into you. Right. So this person, the reason this person has, you know, what the, wow. It's like shit, they get caught up. Cause I just like lost my whole frame of thought. So it's like with the two of swords, the reason this person was unable to make that decision at the time is because they were not ready to pour into it. But now they are right now. They are now they're ready for something solid. Now they're ready to bring it into balance. What else comes with this two of swords? And it's the five of swords, right? Because I did feel like there was a conversation. You either tried to cut this off. Because you were tired of being strong alone. You were tired of being gaslighted. You were tired of dealing with this person probably for over half of your life and still didn't get nothing out of it. So it was like you got to a point where you just didn't agree with carrying on with this relationship. Right? And that's what forced this person's hand. It forced them to have to make a decision. Am I going to lose Pisces out of my life or am I going to keep Pisces into my life? The only way I could keep Pisces into my life and not be defeated and lose everything with Pisces is to give to the situation, to, to, to pour into the situation, to balance it out. Because at the end of the day, I do want to have success with Pisces. I do want to have a beginning with Pisces. I'm totally satisfied with Pisces. I fucking love Pisces. I've been holding on to Pisces this long. I just was, you know, concerned with, you know, how Pisces would fit into my life and interact with my lifestyle. I know back in the day, I, you know, had a lot of hoes <laughs> or a lot of dudes and I had a lot of options. But now I'm just more grounded and centered with myself and I'm ready to pour into something. So if this is what it comes to, I'd rather make the decision to, to balance this situation out than to lose it all together. So Pisces, this could be the one. This person don't want to lose you, right? Because they already know you the one. Your Pisces has been playing mind games for so long and now they just can't play no more, right? So let's see this star, you know? Uh, the ultimate wish fulfillment, success, you know, hope. And we have the page of wands. This person is really inspired by you. Look, this is what it is, Pisces. When you look at it from this angle, how I'm looking at it, look at this. It's like this person loves sticking their rod in that portal. It's Look, it's like they, they, they inspired by the, the womb, Okay, they inspired by your silhouette, right? This been a sexual connection, Pisces. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a sexual connection. 
right? And why would I buy the cow when I get the milk for free? So it's like all these years or months or weeks, however long with your Pisces and Pisces situation, it's been about, you know, sex. It's been about sex. It's been about sex. It's been about sex. Deep down in this person, they always wanted something more. They just always had a lot of options and were unable to choose who to bring around their family, who fits into their world. Then it was decision time. This person, you cut this shit short. You stop giving up the goods to your Pisces. And that triggered them to make a decision to either leave you alone or pour into you. And this person decided to pour into you because they inspired by the poo nanny or the rod, right? So let's get one more for this star seed. And we get the sun. We get the sun, Pisces. You make this person happy, right? You bring out their inner child. You make this person feel good, right? They love everything about you. They love everything about you and they just refuse to lose it. So the overall energy of the connection is the strength. This person been holding back. They've been holding back all this time what they truly feel and what they truly want from you. And now it's time. Now they just finally built up the courage to make a decision because you stepped up. You stepped up. You set a boundary. You put your foot down. And it made this person have to be brave. And come on and open up and express what they truly feel. They had to show their hand. After all this time, you finally pushed them to show their hand what it truly is. Where you really stand in their life. How they really feel about you. And, it's, and, and, and it turned out to be them wanting to pour into you. Them being inspired by you. Them wanting to have success and joy and happiness and live out a life with you. So Pisces, you and this Pisces may probably get into a committed relationship after a conversation about where you stand in this person's life or where they stand in your life. So I hope this resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. All right, Pisces and Pisces. And we have the uh, third chakra, and it's the solar plexus chakra. And this one is relevant to freedom of choice. So you got the freedom to choose if you want to deal with a person who drug you through the mud for so long. And then when you finally decide that it's, it's done, I, you know, make a decision or whatever you decided, that's when they want to pour into you. That's when they want to commit. That's when they want to, you know, start... Um, taking action on the relationship but as long as you was gonna keep giving them the milk i feel like they didn't need to buy the cow right but you it was ultimatum time it was decision time and this person is gonna choose to be with you to commit to you to live out a life with you but the choice is yours if you want to deal with something like that okay i have the freedom to choose so i choose wisely because my decisions have a great impact on how i see myself and how i feel about myself i own accept and express my feelings unreservedly and i do not try to escape them with my own mind games i have free will to choose I have free will to choose how I respond to any situation. I choose to respond with wisdom, clarity, and understanding. So freedom of choice is our positive energy, Pisces and Pisces. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces and Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.